Hi, it's Laura. I'm looking at the Guide to the Best Guilt-Free Picks for Kids in the April edition of Entertainment Weekly. And the section that caught my eye was the 10 movies you need to see before you grow up. The library owns these titles for you to borrow, as well as media tie-ins and other books and materials. First, let me show you how I got that article in Entertainment Weekly. I went to our app and I logged into our electronic resources into Flipster. And I scrolled through that issue until I got to the article. Let's go over these titles together one by one. Joy, sadness, anger, fear, disgust. We all contain multitudes, but emotions take on sensational new life in Inside Out. Pixar's tender, surreal reckoning of childhood and the wild inner rumpus. Toy Story 2. Buzz Lightyear leads a toy team to rescue Woody from a collector, but the greatest story is really all about Jessie, the cheerful cowgirl with a sorrowful backstory. E.T. the Extraterrestrial. He looked like an unshelled turtle and spoke in remedial Yoda. Somehow, though, Steven Spielberg's Far From Home Extraterrestrial still holds unaccountable fans in his spindly hands. A squat little mystery with a heart as big as the Milky Way. The Wizard of Oz. No childhood is complete until you've witnessed the technicolor glories of the yellow brick road and the ruby slippers or been terrified by the wicked witch and her flying monkeys. There's no place like home and there's no movie quite as wonderful. My neighbor Totoro. Two sisters move to the country and find a world of weird amazement. Ayayo Mizuyaki's dreamy masterpiece has the barest wisp of a plot, mom's in the hospital, and a parade of fantasy creatures as huggable as they are mysterious. Moana. Who knew the Disney Princess League was holding out for a heroine like this? The undauntable daughter of a Pacific Islands chieftain sets out to defeat a lava demon with the tetchy guidance of a shape-shifting demigod. Babe. This impossibly cute talking piglet tale was produced by Mad Max Imperator George Miller, which explains the terror and melancholy lingering around quaint Hoggett Farm. Consider doubling down with Babe Pig in the City, which is like after hours for kids. The Sound of Music. From its iconic Rodgers and Hammerstein score, to its incredible location shooting, to the divine presence of Julie Andrews, the Sound of Music is the best of what a movie musical can be. The Princess Bride, a world without the swashbuckling adventures and immortal monologues of Princess Buttercup, the Dread Pirate Roberts, Inigo Montoya, Fezzik the Gentle Giant, and whatever kind of weasened wizard Billy Crystal was supposed to be, inconceivable. Last, The Goonies. We ones may fear Josh Brolin's Thanos from the Avengers franchise, but in this rollicking coming-of-age adventure tale, his self-absorbed brand takes a backseat to the charming young goofballs who go on a high-stakes hunt for pirate booty. <laughs>